Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today is going to be, uh, today's video is going to be about the Uncharted 3 pre, uh, review. Now, this review is going to be unscripted. I'm going to try to come off the top of my head. Um, I'm going to give a review because, I'm going to give a rant later and a review right now. Um, because when I did my Battlefield 3 review, a viewer said it, it wasn't more of a review. You didn't tell me nothing about the game. You just said your opinion and that's it. So I'm going to learn. I'm, I, I, took, I took heat. So I'm going to give you my best review for Uncharted 3. Now, I got it at the Midnight Madness sale, which was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't really that many people there. So I cracked it open. Uncharted 3 is pretty much continuing a story for, uh, for Nate to find his fortune. Now, the story is going to reveal to you where uh, about Nate's past, of where he came from, how he met Sully, and things like that. This game has three modes, the ca campaign mode, multiplayer mode, and co-op mode. Now, co-op mode, you can do a survival mode. You can do also a story-based uh, co-op mode, which is really good. Now, multiplayer is, uh, you have all sorts of types of uh, play modes. You can do the team deathmatch and, you know, capture the points and uh, things like that. You can also customize um, <clears throat> your character as well. Um, you can unlock some things as you gain more experience. Or you can uh, buy some characters and stuff uh, from the PlayStation uh, Online Store. Now, let's get to the... Uh, Let's get to the campaign. Now, the title says for this review that the story is uh, predictable, boring, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to continue that thought later. Just give me, just let me just explain some of the things about this, uh, this uh, game, and I'll rant about it later. Now, the campaign um, is pretty good. The graphics on this game, the graphics on this game is good. Um, as you know, I got my HDTV, you know, I, I can't stop talking about it. I can't stop talking about my HD. I know y'all tired of hearing about it, but this is my first HD television coming to the, coming out of an HDMI cable. This game is gorgeous. Like you can actually see the textures on their face and it's incredible. Uh, the control scheme is there. The control scheme is solid. Now, um... What else about this game that I love? I love like the environments. I love how this game has a certain presence about it. It's written really well uh, to the point where I want to be on this adventure with Nate with him. Like it really captures you and the music is so incredible on this game. I actually, I use my HD television, but I don't use the speakers for my HD television. I play with my Turtle Beach headsets, even when I'm playing campaign stuff, because I just love to hear the sound of it. And, like, the music is incredible. It's one of the most, music-wise, this game is awesome. Like, it, it, it feels like, like they took music from all over the world and made something great. Um... Now, the thing that I want to talk about uh, as far as what I like about it is that um, now some of the things they need to tweak are um, some, sometimes the, the enemies are glitchy sometimes. Um, when I say glitchy, like if an enemy would start running around in some type of circle sometimes, like even when you're in plain sight, like they can't lock on you. Um, sometimes the fighting, when you do hand-to-hand -hand combat, is not as good as Arkham City, like Batman Arkham City. Um, it's kind of choppy at times, but the fight is still good, but it's, it's not as smooth as Batman Arkham City. You know, <laughs> um, so for, forgive me for comparing, you know, this game, but I love Batman, you know, that's my vote for game of the year. Um, and I'm going to share why this game shouldn't win Game of the Year. I'll explain later. But um, it's just it, it's just not as, as smooth as as that. But, like, when he punches, he, he looks like he's actually punching. Now, one enemy glitch is, you know how in some video games, in some movies, some action movies, you have the henchman and you have a bigger henchman, like... The, the one the hero supposed to fight and they're like oh my gosh this guy is huge they do have those type of henchmen in this game but one of the glitches is when 
they like this game forces you to get into a fight with them. Like if you try to shoot them and break them out of that animation, unfortunately your bullets don't hurt hurt this person. Now I had a double barrel shotgun. I had to shoot him twice to get him out of that an twice or three times to shoot him out of that animation. But it's still good. It, it that's that was just something that I ran into. Um. But that's pretty much it. Um, you're going to find a lot of puzzles in this game. So much so that this game will actually help you. They'll give you hints on how to solve. There were some puzzles I was stumped. I didn't have no strategy guide. But if you fail a lot or you sit there a lot, uh, you will see a, a, a hint come up. Or you will see a box come up that says, hey, you want me to? You want us to solve this for you? You press yes. Then Sully or whomever you with will say, hey, Nate, you should do it like this, blah, blah, blah. But some of the puzzles um, is some of the best puzzles I've seen in a game where when you solve, it's like, wow, that was pretty cool. Um, overall, the adventure is great. The storyline. Now, this is where the ranting comes in. This is my part where I'm going to rant. This story, I'm going to continue my title. This story is unpredict uh, is predictable and boring because I don't think he's going to find Drake's fortune. Now, think about think about Uncharted 1, think about Uncharted 2. I played Uncharted 1. I can admit I didn't play Uncharted 2. But was it something along the lines of he's going after Drake's fortune, but somehow he gets distracted by something, goes after that, but didn't necessarily go after Drake's fortune because he got distracted along the way the end? That's how I feel that this series is going down. I, I believe that the story of Drake is, the story of Nate is going to get pretty stale after a while. I, I really do. Like, they really need to end this. Either in this game, I haven't beat it yet because I'm playing it on hard. Oh, the difficulty on this game. I play my games on hard now. I don't play them on easy to do a review. I want to get the fullness of the game. If you put this game on hard, it's hard. So I haven't beat it yet. But I, I predict they're not going to find Drake's fortune. Something's going to come along. Line. It's a predictable story of, oh, let's go... Let's go here. Oh, we got to go save Sully or we have to go do this for it. And it's going to water it out, water it out until the end of the game. And they're not going to find Drake's fortune. Somehow they're going to get into a boss fight over another treasure that's not a part of Drake and the game will end. So that's what I, I think about the game itself. I think the, the storyline is pretty it's going to be pretty stale real soon. At first I was bored with this game because I already knew where it was going, but the action picked up. I really want to play tonight all night uh and things like that, but I I, I don't see myself buying this game anymore unless I have money to burn like that or they send me a free copy to review it um because of the storyline. I don't think the storyline and that's why I believe this doesn't get game of the year. Because if you look, if you play Batman Arkham City, and you know this, how that ended, that game ended so unexpectedly. How it ended, it puts you in the, oh my gosh, what am I, I got to buy the next game because I don't know how this person is going to write this game because it is more, I'm interested in what Batman is going to do now since it ended. I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't played Arkham City, but watch when you play Arkham City and how that ended. Okay, I'm going to put my, my hand over my mouth. You turn down the volume if you don't want to hear it. I'm going I'm to do it. I'm going to count five seconds and you turn down the volume and I'm going to say what happens on uh, Arkham City. Hold on. Okay, so what happened in Arkham City? Joker dies. He dies in Arkham City. He dies. It's to the point where it's like Joker dies, and it's like Joker was everything to Batman. It was everything. So what are you going to do now for Arkham City? Joker died of the Titan formula that he used in the uh, first Arkham Asylum, but it was killing him. So he died. He died at the end. He, and Batman carried him out. Carried him out and set him on a cop car. That's how bad this thing is. Oh, man. So, that's why this game should win Game of the Year. Just something like that. Okay, you can turn it back up now. 
But that's pretty much it. Um, overall, I give the action in Uncharted an A+. Plus. I give it a I give it an A plus. The action is on hard everything, but overall the story I give it like a C minus because I know what to expect. But overall, I think it's a good game. But you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. I mean, it's challenging. The puzzles are there. I love the story. The music is incredible. But I just believe the story. Did I say the story is incredible? I don't know if I did, just did, but the story just gets kind of stale after a while. And that's it. So there you have it. There go my review slash rant of Uncharted 3. And if you have any questions, comments, any concerns, you can hit me up. Oh, if you like what you saw today, please favorite the video, give it a thumbs up. No, like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. If you have any questions, comments, any concerns, you can contact me at techgamesetc at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on that PlayStation Network at Asian underscore boy underscore 100. I thank you so much for watching this product review. And you enjoy your day. See you later. That was 11 minutes.